Hey guys, welcome back to my art channel. So for today's video, I will be doing a scale model that I'm gonna make for World Bex since I'm a finalist. I'm part of the top 10. I actually went to the lab in Pinoval in near UST to 3D print and laser cut my model para madali na lang. And this is what I've got! <laughs> So yung the lab base model, this one here. And yeah, I'm gonna be doing a time-lapse process of my experience and my process on how I'm gonna make this. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Anthony De Gala. I'm an architecture student from the University of Santo Tomas and I'm at my fourth year. So I mainly do vlogs about my life as a student and random vlogs like Many random vlogs about my USD life and some art videos if you're interested in that right here and other shopping videos like Shopee hauls, Lazada hauls and all that. You can find it all on my videos if you want to check it out. So if you're interested in my scale model building process then keep on watching. Hey guys, so for today's video, we're gonna be making a scale model I made for World Vex. So this is the laser cuts that I ordered from the lab and it actually cost me around 1200 for the cutting. So the site development plan was made using an MDF and then the others were made using a chipboard. So this is the chipboard and I used it for the slabs of my model. And the chipboards I ordered came in two sizes. One is the 1.0 CHB and then the other is the 2.0 CHB. But I mainly use the 2.0 thickness for the slabs and the 1.0 for other extra designs that I want to incorporate on my model. So this is me painting my site development plan white since Worldbex wants an all white scale model so i'm painting it with an acrylic white color i also painted the slabs white and i also had to um recoat everything another layer para like super white talaga siya and not like bland white na kita yung original color ng chipboard but sadly i didn't have enough white paint to cover everything so i had to go to the bookstore and find paint but they didn't have any so I just bought some spray paint but it actually turned out to be a good idea since it did the job better and mas naging white siya and mas clean since the strokes of the paintbrush are not really seen but one downside lang with spray painting is you have to do it outside and not indoors kasi baka mag mark yung mga furniture mo at saka yung floors mo and you have to protect it from falling leaves and birds and insects and your dog din so right now i'm making grass patches for my scale model and i made it using felt felt paper na white I just traced the site development plan with tracing paper and then kinat ko yung tracing paper tapos I marked it sa felt paper using a graphite pencil to make the marks tapos I just cut it and then um, applied B6000 sa mga felt paper para mag stick siya dun sa spray paint. I also want to mention that if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to leave a like and Comment down below what type of content you want next and I'll be sure to respond. For next week's video, I will actually be releasing my World Dex vlog where I filmed everything that happened, especially the awarding ceremony. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I also have an ongoing giveaway if you're interested. So right now I'm making the support foundation for my walls and I made it using yung barbecue sticks na nabili ko sa grocery store. So I first marked yung barbecue stick with a specific size. So in this case, I did 1.5 centimeters and I marked it using a pen. 
Tapos, I, ca- I tried to make marks using my scissors para when I break it, mas madali siyang maputol and mas clean siya. And this is me doing it while on my online classes kasi I really had to multitask since it was really hard to balance ACADs and this world next choo choo. So, yeah. And this me trying to stick the barbecue sticks on the slabs to serve as a foundation for my walls. And basically, parang inspiration ng walls ko is like a Banawe rice terraces feel. The lab actually suggested na I just um, laser cut my walls. Pero if I laser cut it daw, hindi na siya magiging curvy like how I want it. So I just decided that I do it manually with barbecue stick. This is the model that I'm trying to follow in SketchUp and this is the actual thing that I made. I actually made this model for around 5 days since matagal talaga yung process niya and sa drying time pa lang ng paint it already took a lot of my time and eventually nagkulang ako ng barbecue stick so I had to make more and i use my other materials na lang para pang patong para it will dry faster and more firm siguro or stronger i don't know <laughs> but right after sticking all the slabs together with barbecue sticks i decided to spray paint it on my dorm this is me on my hallway trying to spray paint everything with a manila paper since if walang manila paper yan, hindi eh, patay ako. <laughs> but I managed to spray paint everything neatly. But there was still parang mga marks for the water features that I had. So what I did was I covered the holes with masking tape. Tapos I'm going to color it white also with spray paint and this marker. Tapos I'll just fill it up with glue and let it dry to have that parang water effect. But I actually realized na wala pa lang kwento yung pagko-color ko ng masking tape with the marker and spray paint kasi maka-cover yan na mention ng Elmer's glue na white in color so yeah I actually needed a lot of Elmer's glue since when it dried parang naging nag-sink yung Elmer's glue and I had to put more so in the end I actually needed to recoat it three times with Elmer's glue to have a really nice water effect. So while my site development plan dries, I decided to start on my super trees. And actually ito yung nagpamahal sa model ko, these three parang super trees inspired by Gardens by the Bay yung super trees nila there. Because it actually cost me 6000 to 3D print these three parang trunks. And it came out parang malinga ate, parang it's too small, it's too short. So I had to improvise and make another parang structure at the bottom para mas tumangkad siya. And this is me trying to assemble everything in place. And this is the final output. For the lightning rods naman sa taas, I bought um, parang a uh, white stick sa jollies na you can buy. And this one naman is my wall and slabs na completely dried up na. And for the walls, I used double-sided tape and hopya paper. So I basically put the double-sided tape around the barbecue sticks. Tapos I wrapped around the hopya paper that are according to size sa barbecue sticks that will serve as like my walls for the structure so this is the final product for the windows naman na medyo transparent i use parang a tracing paper para medyo masilag siya and this one naman is yung site development plan ko na i'm sticking sa base model na binigay sa amin ng d-lab and this is me trying to assemble everything i also bought parang a tiny cars that will serve as my like car and garage para meron naman akong mga other things that are going on so I also put parang styrofoam balls parang medyo crumpled na styrofoam balls that will serve as my parang landscaping sa building and sa environment choo choo so this is my three super trees all attached together and I also decided to put some landscapes at us. So yeah, this is the final output. 
I am really happy with how this turned out since I managed to do it all by myself competing with other groups in World Vex. And although medyo um, crafty siya tingnan, this is all that I can do considering the time constraint and the budget that I'm willing to sacrifice. But overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I actually haven't slept since yesterday just to finish this. So right now, I'm going to the SMX Convention Center just to drop off my model na I made kahit na may preliminary examinations kami. So this is me doing happy dance and yeah, I'm on my way to SMX Convention Center to drop this off. Luckily, my dad was able to hatid sundo me to SMX Convention Center sa my MOA since I was planning to do grab lang. But as you can see, sobrang nagwa-vibrate yung mga super trees ko so I was really nervous na baka masira siya. Actually, nasira nga one of the super trees but I had B6000 naman with me so I attached it agad. And this is me arriving sa SMX Convention Center and pinakyat ako to place it on their table. So that's it for the video. I hope you watched till the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you on the next one. Bye!